Hello everyone, welcome to another video with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing something very special. As you can see before me, I have this package, and it contains within it 42 different, debatably unique flavors of Kit Kat bars. And I'm going to go through all 42, taste them, tell you what I think. Some of these are sort of normal, some of them are very quite interesting. A lot of them I've never heard before. They are all from Japan. In the United States we have basic flavors of Kit Kat that don't go too far. It's peculiar. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and try them out. We're going to start out with the regular Kit Kat. This is just normal chocolate and wafer. Figured we'd get a good baseline to test everything else out with. Most of everything I have in here is this mini two-piece style. So I'm going to open it up and break one little Kit Kat piece off. You can see that this looks normal. Good taste. That's a normal Kit Kat. Chocolatey, crispy, crunchy. All right. Good place to start. Second, we have the dark chocolate Kit Kat. Break the piece off. There we go. There you see the dark chocolate. Same crispy crunchiness. It's not as dark as some dark chocolates I've had, for sure. But it's definitely noticeably darker than the regular original. Another good choice. Thirdly, we have what I believe to be the white chocolate Kit Kat. A lot of these are guesses. This one was one of them that I was debating on what it actually is. Let's hope that I'm right. Well, it is white. It does not necessarily mean that this is just white chocolate Kit Kat. There you go, that's what it looks like. No noticeably different flavors other than white chocolate. So I believe I was correct. One thing I've noticed with these three so far is that the wafer in Japanese Kit Kats are noticeably better than the United States ones. There you go, the white chocolate Kit Kat. Another decent one. Next we have Kit Kat for Cafe. I'm not sure if this means it has a coffee flavor to it or if it's for having in coffee, but we'll find out. It looks pretty normal. It looks like there might be some crispies in there on the bo bottom that looks like some crispies. Let's give it a taste. It does feel a little bit crispier. There's no coffee flavor to it. Maybe it's for cafe because it has more crunchiness to s so it holds up more with coffee. I don't know. I'm not sure what the difference is here, but it tastes alright. Alright, so the next one we have a special one. This one is rare. It's hard to find. It only comes in these little ones. And this is the Ruby Chocolate. I've never had any type of Ruby Chocolate before. But it's supposed to be a different type of chocolate altogether. Instead of milk chocolate, instead of dark chocolate or white chocolate has like a purplish hue to it, but it's supposed to just be chocolate. So let's see what that tastes like. That's very interesting. It's almost like a, a white chocolate with a little bit of like a floral flavor to it almost. Interesting. There you got the ruby chocolate. Decent. All right, moving on from the chocolate varieties. Now I'm going to move into a section that is matcha flavor. So I think this one is just their normal matcha flavor. If you don't know, matcha is like a green tea powder that you mix with hot water to kind of get like a, it's like a tea smoothie-ish kind of thing. There we go. Pretty dark green if you ask me. 
Definitely smells like green tea. Smooth. Tasty. It finishes with a pretty strong green tea flavor. What's the regular matcha? Going on to what I believe is referred to as rich matcha. Whether it means rich in flavor or it's a more expensive type of matcha, so you have to be rich in order to get it. We'll never know. This one's a little bit of a lighter, a lighter color. Again, the first one I could have had might have been the rich one. Um, let's try this one. This one's much sweeter. A lighter matcha flavor, for sure. This one might have been just the regular instead of the rich matcha. Because this one is definitely lighter than the first one I had. This one, I'm pretty sure, is the Chikara matcha. I'm not exactly sure what Chikara means. If it's a type of specific tea leaf that this was made with. This one is darker than the second one. It has like little dark speckles in it. I don't know if that you can see that or not. There's more of a bitter, a strong bitter flavor for this one, the Chikara Matcha. Definitely the least sweet out of the matchas I've had so far. This one, I believe, is the Uji, UGI, UJI Matcha flavor. Interesting that each three matchas I've had did have distinctly different flavor profiles to them. This was a more lighter of the green. This is another sweet one. Lighter flavor. Definitely out of all the matchas, that one's the one that has the least amount of matcha flavoring. Last of the these matchas, this one I believe is called a Tucamion Uji Matcha. It's a mouthful. We'll open this up. This is another lighter colored one, but it has like dark speckles on it. You can see like those little dark speckles in there. Still pretty sweet. More, more matcha than the last one. None of the matchas were bad. Moving away from matcha, but not too far away from the idea. This is supposed to be a roasted tea flavor. So, not sure what type of tea this is, but I'm pretty sure it's not green tea. Probably a black tea. Very, like a dark tan color. It has a little bit of a tea smell to it. Very sweet. The tea is a, a more subtly, subtly flavored. Mm, it's all right. Probably my not as good as the matches though. I'm gonna move on to three like more savory type flavors. This one is wasabi. Very interesting. Wasabi is a. Uh, not like a classical flavor that you would think to put in candy. But here we go. It's like a, a neon green color to it almost. Oh, it smells spicy. You know, it's not terrible. I thought the wasabi was going to be a lot more strong. But the wasabi is just like a really subtle wasabi flavor. Otherwise, it's sweet. Not terrible. Next one we have is soy sauce. Yes, the soy sauce flavored Kit Kat. Another savory type flavor. I'm interested in seeing how salty this will be. Looks like it uses white chocolate. Actually, not really soy sauce flavor at all. It just tastes like white chocolate with like a little bit, a little bit of a saltiness to it. Kind of disappointed. Moving on, we have a miso flavored. Miso 
is another uh, savory flavor you'd think would not be in this candy, but here we go. It's another white chocolate. You have little brown specks in there. Disappointed in both the, so the uh, soy sauce and the miso. This kind of tastes sweet. White chocolate. Now I'm going to move on to the sake varieties, and there's quite a few of those. This one is just the regular Kit Kat sake. And the sake is like a white, is a uh, rice wine. Here we go. Of course, it is using a white chocolate. Oh, it smells like sake for sure. The taste is very sake. Like if you took like the alcohol out of sake, just the bare flavor, put it into a candy, that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, moving on we have the Sakura Nihonshu sake. So I think all these different sake flavors are using uh, like a specific brand of sake available in Japan. Sakura means cherry blossom. I think that's what these little things are, cherry blossoms. So that's where you get like a, a pink hue to it. Definitely like a cherry scent to it too. That's really good. It has that same or similar sake flavor that you're getting. But like this cherry floral addition, which I enjoy. Moving on, we have the Sakura Masumune sake flavor. I don't think it has a like an adjunct flavor like the cherry blossom. I think it's just going to be sake, but a different brand of sake. There we go. This one's a creamier. It's not as strong as a sake hit to it, but it is, it is there. This one is more smooth, more, more creamy. I don't know if the Masamun type of sake is one of those cloudier sakes. All right, moving on, we have the Kanako, Kanako Sakura, which is a roasted soybean and cherry blossom. I put this with the, the, the sake because I wasn't sure if this was also a sake flavor, but it might or may not have a sake flavor to it. It might just be the cherry blossoms and roasted soybean. There we go, it has a little bit of a, a, a light brown hue to it. It definitely has a roasty flavor to it. I don't know if I could pick up soybean in particular, but definitely some roastiness to there. Moving on to the next one, we have the Imu Sake or plum wine flavor. Plum wine. Again, using the, the white chocolate. Oh, it smells very plummy. This one has a lot of smell and flavor to it that really, really uh, makes it unique. I like that one. Plum wine is good. Next up we have rum raisin. Rum raisin. As you can see, it's another white chocolate variety. You definitely taste that rum. Pretty, pretty good. So we're going to start off with the original strawberry. And of course, strawberry is going to have a pink color to it. Mm, the smell and the flavor. Really sweet fresh tasting strawberry. Next up we have Wachigo strawberry. 
not sure what the the difference in that distinction is. Smells very similar, still pink. Not as not as like floral and tart as the other strawberry. More creamy. Still good, but I like the original strawberry better. Uh, next one we have is the Amao strawberry. Similar color. This one smells more like the first strawberry. This one almost tastes like a strawberry malt. And we have strawberry cheesecake. You can see the strawberry cheesecake has a white chocolate coating. You have you have like a smell of a cheese to this. The strawberry in this one is kind of muted by more cheesecake flavor too. All right. And the last strawberry one we have is strawberry tiramisu. Now tiramisu. To me, it's supposed to have like a coffee flavor to it, but we will see. See, it's white, has some pink, and some darker color specks to it. It does have some coffee flavor to it. Very interesting. We have Eocon Orange. It is the only orange one. It's the only citrus one, I think. Oh, that smells like a dreamsicle. It tastes like one, too. I feel like dreamsicle. That one's good. Next up, we have the Shinshu Apple. All right, interesting. The apple has a milk chocolate coating. It smells like apple. It tastes like chocolate apple. Kyoho Grape. Will it be a white chocolate, a dark chocolate? Purple. Smells grapey. Tastes grapey. Peach! See, it's a white chocolate. You can smell the peach, but it's kind of light. I was hoping it would have a more strong peach smell. Very light. You can tell it's peach, but it's very light. Kind of disappointing, I was hoping for a stronger peach flavor on that one. Raspberry. Light pink color. Definitely a raspberry smell. Mmm, I like that one. It starts really tart. It leaves you with like sweet raspberry. We have Easter banana. This is one that's only available during the Easter season. Definitely smells like candy banana. Yeah, it has a very, a very sweet banana. Next we have Tokyo banana. Automatically tell the difference here. Tokyo banana is chocolate covered. Mm, this one had like a weird break to it. It doesn't say Kit Kat, it has like some Japanese lettering. So basically that's the same, similar banana, but the chocolate really overpowers it. Moving on we have melon and cheese. This shall be interesting. It almost has a cheese kind of color to it. it smells like melon. I'll taste the melon. So it's supposed to be mascarpone cheese, which is a really light flavor by itself. All I really taste in this is the melon. It tastes good though. Next up we have the purple sweet potato. Purple sweet potato is purple. Not really a smell to it. You know with my eyes closed I probably couldn't tell you that has any distinct flavor to it. Now we have chestnut. All right, chestnut has a light yellow tan color to it. It is nutty. 
I like it. Chestnut. I'm not really sure what chestnut flavor tastes like because I don't really eat too much chestnut. Anyway, moving on, we have this one is called Shingen Mochi. This color. Almost like a, a toasty flavor to it. I don't know what I was expecting out of this, but it just tastes sweet to me. Following that, we have Red Bean Sandwich. Yes, this is a sweetened red bean sandwich flavor. It is covered in milk chocolate. Oh, the smell is really beans. Well, that is an interesting flavor. Out of all the ones that were covered in milk chocolate, that's the flavor that cuts through the chocolate the most. It's interesting. It's a little bitter. Next up we have Momiji Manju. And from the picture, it looks like little cookies that are filled with something. This one had a, one of those weird breaks where it's like solid at the top, so it kind of broke off just the half. But let's go ahead and give it a taste. That one tasted similar to the red bean one, but a little bit of a lighter flavor to it. Okay, so my final four that I have here, they are uh, retakes on some of the flavors that I've already done. So these ones have a fruit and nut component added to it. So this one's supposed to be like the regular chocolate, but added with fruit and nuts. You can see at the top, you have some fruit and nuts. So let's get that taste. It definitely adds a different texture to it. And it's chewy at the end. Then we have the matcha flavored. See it's green and it has the fruit and nuts on top. I couldn't tell you which of the matcha ones this tastes most like. But you definitely have the matcha flavor in there. It's relatively strong. And they add some texture to it from the fruit and nuts. Now we have the rum and raisin fruit and nut flavor. It's a white chocolate. Got your fruit and nuts on top. What's weird is you can almost see there is a Kit Kat emblem on there, but it only shows up in certain parts. I really like the rum raisin flavor. When you add the fruit and nuts to that flavor, I think it really boosts it. All right, the last, number 42. Strawberry cheesecake. Fruit and nut. All right, so we have strawberry, fruit and nuts on top. Mm, I like the tartness of the strawberry with whatever the fruits that are in here. Really like boost that, a berry flavor. I like it. So, there we have it. 42 flavors of Japanese Kit Kats. If I were to choose one that I really thought was the best out of all of them. I really like the regular strawberry and the regular raspberry. Those were the best fruity ones that I've had out of all of them. The most disappointing were probably the soy sauce and the miso. So I was expecting something weird, but they were just bland. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, bye-bye.